We are members of the Order of St. Maurice. We portray Crusade-era pilgrims going to uh, the Holy Land in Jerusalem. And what you see before you is an example of a Crusader encampment. You've got both uh, secular people and military, uh, military orders, which is what I'm portraying. I am portraying a 12th century member of the Order of the Temple. This gentleman is portraying a 12th century member of the Order of the Hospital, the Hospitallers. If you'll follow me... Here we have an example of what 12th century ladies would be dressed as, as well as an example of the food that would have been eaten during that period. Now, taking a trip to the Crusades would be an expensive undertaking. Chess, please. So we took everything we needed. Food, money, and what have you. This is an example of uh, how we would cook. This is a rack of a uh, variety of the weapons we would use. Weapons, shields, banners, and the like. Now, if you have a moment, I can also show you how a Hospitaller is armed. This gentleman is wearing a monk's robe, but underneath it, he wears a male hood made of uh, hundreds of uh, metal links, and beneath, he wears a shirt of mail and a padded coat to protect him against sword blows. On his hip, he's tying on his long sword. The sword is balanced about three pounds, has a fuller running down the middle, and a heavy weight called a pommel. He finishes his arming by placing on this toe helm. The faceplate protects them from archery because uh, the enemy would use uh, horse archery to take down the knights, and the face was a very vulnerable spot. Obviously, crusaders were heavily into their religious faith. This is a paternoster. It's a predecessor of the rosary. This is particularly what's called a um, memento mori pattern nostra. Each of the beads are skulls. As I mentioned earlier, crusaders were people of faith. And frequently, we would be at prayer when we were not doing everyday life. This is an example of an altar with a holy relic and candles lit and the lady here is saying her rosary beads if you'd like come on inside the tent and thank you for your time Bye.